Okay, well, here we are um, starting uh, this tutorial for Cyberlight Comics. Uh, this is a picture that I started in Adobe Illustrator. Well, actually, I did it in Photoshop and brought it into Illustrator. I put it uh, on its own layer. And uh, here you see some layers over here on the right. Um, I have a layer called pencils or sketch. I have a layer called uh, colors, even though we're going to be coloring. One called inks, one called frame. Uh, I like to keep the frame above everything else. And um, if, I spell, if I misspell anything in this tutorial, uh, please do forgive me. Uh, as you can see, I've already drawn the frame. Uh, you can select it all. I, I, I kind of take it out because I want to recreate it for you guys. I'm going to take my shape tool and I'm going to kind of draw shapes right over the areas that I want to cover, uh, well, actually, to, to show where there's going to be an image. And uh, I'm going to put one right here over my protagonist. And I'll fix them a little bit. Fix, fix there, fix here. Fix there a little bit. A little bit more. Okay. I'll draw one more shape for this big rectangle at the bottom. Then I'm going to hit Control A, select them all. And I'm going to hit, uh, well, actually, I'm not going to group them. I'm going to use my Pathfinder tool and expand them make them all one shape then I'm going to go to my shape tool one more time and I'm going to draw a square from corner to corner and I'm going to hit control A and select everything I'm going to go to a little button down at the bottom right hand corner called uh, with a uh, minus back and it will cut out everything that's in the back which are the little boxes that I made previously. So once you hit that, bam, you have your frames just like you wanted them. Of course, I could have taken a little bit more time with them, but I didn't. Uh, now I'm going to lock that layer. Usually I lock the that layer and then I come in. This is something I've already done right here on the right. You can turn it on and off to see what the, you know, how different it's going to look. But now, so you can see, and these are brushes that I've made over here. Uh, last one, last two. Usually anything I need to do is proportional. Um, proportional, and when it's checked, it means that it's going to grow uh, with your line. The longer your line, the thicker it's going to be. Uh, I don't want them all proportional, of course, for different effects. So some I leave proportional, some I don't. Um, the ones that I, I put a uh, greater than sign, it means it's going to be thick to thin. And that's like kind of a little code to myself of what brushes I'm making. You see some of the lines that I've used over here. Um, right here, we're going to start inking this guy. My favorite tool is the pencil tool. Take off the stroke and just use the fill and just start drawing draw your little shapes in uh, like you would uh, if you were outlining an area that you were going to color when you're done bam it's filled in and you fill in another area and uh, I like to just go ahead and, and just really draw it by hand it, it makes it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something and it's not so so digital and so distant from the actual art I'm going to do my eyebrow here, add a little bit extra because I didn't like the way it was drawn. And um, I'm going to do, go ahead and do that wrinkle by hand. Do as much as I can with the pencil tool. You know, it saves a lot of time. It goes pretty quickly when you do it this way. I'll do as much as I possibly can with it. And then I'm going to take. Uh, See how I'm going to do the nose here. 
Control B gives you the brush tool. You can just brush a nice little line right there. Yeah. Comes thick to thin. See? Looks pretty nice. And I'm going to want a thicker line for the bottom of the nose. So I am going to use the proportional and see if I get a nicer line. Yeah, that came out a little thicker. I like that. Now the cool thing about the line is if you don't like how thick it came out, even the proportional, you just go over here and select a different size and resize it to your liking. Take the brush tool again and just put in these wrinkles. Size it up a little bit for some shade. I have to select it first, of course. Some shade. There we go. And uh, there you go. That looks nice. Do one over here freehand like that. Oh, that looks good. I like the way that came out. Now I'm going to go to the pen tool and do these lips. So I, I want to make sure I've got them looking just right. Uh, let's see. That look kind of nice. You don't want to have the uh, outline selected, of course. Now I'm going to use this to draw in these areas of these teeth. Even though it's not in the actual drawing, I think it kind of looked better. A little bit more detail. Again, this drawing was a very loose drawing. I'm going for speed, not so much for accuracy when I pencil, so that uh, Phil will leave me alone and not yell at me anymore about content. And hopefully I can get this page done and turn something in. And there you go. Now you see that's kind of starting to come all together. Now the ears. Uh, the ears, I'm going to probably just draw in pencil tool right here. Just draw them in. I like using this a lot. Gives me a lot of freedom. And of course the tighter you pencil these things the more beautiful work you'll be able to do. Well thank you for uh, watching the video and I hope you enjoy it.